My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. What's up, sexy samurais? I just made that up. That's actually kind of cute, though. How are you doing today? If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Natalie, and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. If you are returning, what's up, fam? Thanks for coming to hang out with me. So today's video is going to be my monthly favorites for June. <sighs> my birthday is in six days. But anyways, I'm really, really, really excited for today's video because I have some freaking bomb products like I feel this is a really solid favorites and I have been obsessed with basically everything that I'm going to be talking about today so if you are interested in seeing what those things are then keep on watching and if you do like this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave so we can be friends pretty please all right let's get into the favorites video but okay so this product I saw a version of it on Instagram and those Instagram ads are sketchy as hell so anyways I, I googled under I went to my Amazon account and searched for the product and huh, what do you know Amazon have it has it because Amazon has everything so it is this brush and hair dryer combo. I know versions of this have been out for like ever, but I've tried them like back in the day, like over 10 years ago or about 10 years ago I want to say, and they just really didn't work. But this one works. And the crazy thing is, so before I ordered this, my, the blow dryer I have now is super, super old. I'm like, okay, what, you know, I'll get a new one. So I ordered, they had like a Dyson, kind of like an imitation um, Dyson blow dryer on Amazon. I ordered that, tried that, it took forever to blow dry my hair. So then I returned it and I ordered another blow dryer, same thing, it took forever to blow dry my hair. It's crazy, my hair dryer that's like 10 years old is working better than these brand new ones I'm buying. So when I say that this dries my hair in the same or less time than the blow dryer I've been using, like that's saying a lot because I've been running through hair dryers. Maybe I'm just really picky, but. And it kinda, there's a way you can do it to kinda make, give yourself curls. I just haven't found out what that way is. My hair ends up turning out pretty straight when I use this, but it's just like it would be if I used a regular hair dryer. But it's really soft, it's really quick, you don't have to worry about holding a brush and then holding your blow dryer. And I think it's just a really awesome product. Okay, skincare. I have been using this product for years. So, when I first started trying Glam Glow products, I literally bought like every mask they had and I bought like the full size ones which were not cheap they were $69 and the two that I used up like so quickly were the skin clearing mask the white one and this one which is the glam glow flash mud brightening treatment so I just hadn't bought it again because it is so expensive. I would always find a way to get my hands on a sample. So I have just been using samples. But then I saw this in Boxy Pop-Up and it was like 20 something dollars compared to 70. Plus, this is a mega size. So it's bigger than the original one. It's 3.5 ounces. But I adore this mask so much. It probably has to be like this and the clearing one are tied for like my favorite masks. So oh, I've, I've been finishing off my sample, but let me show you what it looks like. So this is an exfoliating and a brightening mask. But yeah, it's a brightening and exfoliating mask. And you leave it on for 20 minutes. And when you wash it off, 
your skin is so smooth. So it's a light cream and it has tiny little particles in there that you use is what exfoliates your face. And the smell, I love the smell too. And it's not too harsh. Some exfoliators can be too harsh, but this is definitely not. The next product is also skincare, and it is this Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. I got this in some BoxyCharm box, and I really like it. It's a super thick consistency, very similar to honey, and so you like smear it on your face, and it's, then you start to feel like a warming sensation and leave it on 10 to 15 minutes and rinse it off. My skin is just very hydrated and it just feels very plump and youthful after I use it. I really like it and I think the magnetic spatula is awesome. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? So this is a hairband and then it has these little ties here that you can use to tie behind your neck, but I put them in my braids. How freaking cool is that? All right, next is this Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I think I got this from my Ipsy. So when I take my makeup off, I always go in with a makeup balm. I'm currently using the Pharmacy Cherry Melt, but, and the reason I do that is because I don't find that regular cleansers really get all your makeup off. So, but I found that this works just as well as the balms that I've used. And it's kind of the same idea. You put it on dry, on a dry, your dry face, oh it says on damp skin. I like to put it on when my face is dry and then when you add water it kind of turns into a milky consistency very similar to a cleansing balm and it really does remove your makeup. I really like this. Okay so the next product I used for years a few years ago and then I just never repurchased it I don't know why and then something just came over me and I was like I really really want that Becca under eye brightening corrector my the reason I hadn't bought it was because I have the Tatcha under eye brightening treatment which was not cheap so I rationalized that I don't need another under eye brightener but this right here is magic oh, I love this product so much and apparently everyone else does do you know how hard it was for me to get my hands on this it was sold out at Sephora at Ulta at Beautylish basically every makeup website it was sold out I couldn't even find it on eBay and I somehow I found it on the Becca website but I swear when I first looked it was sold out on their website too they probably got you know the orders first obviously and yeah so it took some searching to find this here's what it looks like and the consistency it's very it's much more malleable than a lot of color correctors and a lot more hydrating too it's not like a peach or an orange it's basically like skin tone well i would say maybe a light peach kind of a light illuminating peach oh. It is just, if you have dark circles or you just want to brighten your under eye area, you need this in your life. So I will use this either before my foundation or I'll put my foundation on and then put this on before I put my concealer on. And I swear it makes the biggest difference. Plus my under eyes feel more hydrated and then my I feel my concealer goes on better when my under eyes are moisturized. The next product is another one of these Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders and this one is in Gold Digger. 
Oh my gosh, I have to. I'm gonna probably get a copyright strike. Okay, so the Artist Couture highlighter in Gold Digger is right there. I mean, is that blinding or is that blinding? Oh, so in love with them. Alright, next. So, I originally got this Milk Cheek and Lip Oil in Flare from BoxyCharm, which is a really pretty coral. And number one, I was actually like really pleased that I got a coral because most of the unboxings I watched, it was like a dark purple shade. But these, I am not a big fan of cream blushes at all. But these are so gorgeous. They can go over top of powder without, you know, displacing your foundation or powder or affecting it, it at all. And it's basically just like using a powder blush, but it's a cream and it so it gives more of a dewy finish. And I liked it so much I ended up getting another color. So this is in Halo. And this is like a pink. I'm actually wearing some today. I'm gonna put some more on so you can see. Oh, gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take this like slanted brush and kind of just put it on top of the blush. Oh, that I went a little heavy-handed. I wanted to make sure you guys could see it, but so yeah, I because I also think that cream blushes are going to be more on the sheer side, but these really do give you a good color payoff. All right, so the next product I'm just going to stay in the theme of cream products is this hourglass. Vanish highlighting stick and this is in the color Champagne Flash. If you've been around for a minute, you know the Hourglass Vanish stick foundation is like my holy grail foundation. So I mean I had to try this highlighting stick. I've been wanting to try it since it came out, but I was having such a hard time spending the money on it cream highlighter especially when I like never use cream highlighters but I have been using this one just like the cream blush but I got this uh, on P boxy pop-up so let me show you champagne flash I'm actually wearing this today once my foundation concealer and powder were done I put it on the high points of my cheekbone and kind of made a C around my eye and then blended it out with my Real Technique sponge and then I went over it with a powder highlighter. It is so gorgeous and if you don't want it as intense you can always put it on before you put your foundation on. I'm actually, I'm going to put some on my Bones. Okay, <laughs> so uh, shocker, but I have another highlighting product that's also a liquid. Like cream and liquids are usually not my name by, but hey, I, I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone. <laughs> it is the Milani Strobe Light Liquid Highlighter, and this is in 01 Afterglow. So I heard that these were dupes for the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid highlighters and I've been mixing this in with my foundation, using it as like I did with the highlighting stick and I've also been using it like on my lids. So really nice formula, pretty color. Next is I've been wanting a really good bronzer that had some shimmer to it. I bought a Becca one, just wasn't crazy about it. I got an Ofra one in my Ipsy. 
it's okay, but I was really wanting the Too Faced one from BoxyCharm, but of course I didn't get it. So I ended up just buying it myself. And this is the Too Faced Gold Chocolate Gold Soleil. And I really love their updated packaging. And I've always loved Too Faced bronzers. I have like three or four of them. But as you can see, it does have that shimmer to it. It's not too red toned. It's, I think it would work well on a lot of different skin tones. Neutral, it's not really warm toned and it's not really cool toned. I am wearing this today. Let's add a little more though, shall we? I gotta make sure my makeup's perfect for when I go to sleep. <laughs> I read that Charlotte Tilbury like puts a full face of makeup on before she goes to bed. I don't know if that's true or not, but so oh, I love that it smells like cocoa. I adore this formula and I really do like this shade. It's like the perfect bronzer with a hint of radiance to it. Like here I have this Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer in light medium. Another gorgeous bronzer. All right, the next product I've been living for, and I actually want to say that I got it on sale, but it is this Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot, and this is Wild at Heart. I'm actually wearing it on my lids, but it is a loose pigment, but this is the most metallic pigment I've ever used. I mean, look at that. The lighting, so gorgeous. Here are a couple soaps I just, well I just made this one like literally before I started filming this. And the scent is in a pink peony. Yeah, and then here's like a marble design. Okay, so I have some, a couple of bathing suits that I am dying over. I got them for my birthday vacation and they're like so sexy and but unique too. So the first one and another thing is I, cause I'm not super comfortable showing my stomach. So I prefer like one pieces or like monokinis or like a high-waisted two-piece. But this, I am so down with the neon vibe too, by the way. So, but look at that. Oh my gosh. It like, so it has your sides out, which is perfect for me because I have a huge tattoo down my left side but it still covers you, and it has a fringe skirt. Ah! Okay, so this bathing suit is everything, and it is so flattering. I'll put a picture up in the screen as well. So, it basically goes like this, and then it has these super, super, super long straps. Then you tie them around you. You would have to see it on. Uh, but, and they're like 20 something dollars. Like, real. I remember when I had to get a bathing suit from Victoria's Secret every year. And I would spend so much money. And these are in dope. And they are so flattering, too. <sighs> Last product is this Artist Couture lipstick and this is in Angel Baby. It's a really gorgeous peach nude. I actually just added some on. Alright guys, let me know what you think about my favorites. Have you heard anyone else talking about some of these products and or have you tried any of them yourself personally? Let me know. But it was good spending time with you guys. I love you. I will see you in my next video.